Hello, hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you how you can install Windows 10 from a USB drive. Of course, you have to know that this process will delete all data you have on your hard drive. So before we begin, make sure you have a backup or you have made a copy of your data to another hard drive. Without wasting our time, let's go to the um, official website of Microsoft or if I say Microsoft official website, this is the first link you must open. Arriving there, you will scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and look for download button. By clicking on download button, they will be downloaded something called media creation tool. Yeah, of course, media creation tool. I think this is um, where's the download folder? Yeah, this is media creation tool. Then you open it here. You run it. Depending on your computer performance and internet speed, this process might take time or might be short. But in this video, I will be fast forwarding. <laughs> to get the time so you have to download the 64 as texture if you want or you can download the 64 then download the iso and select where you want it to save it the reason why you download the iso or disk image is because you may save it on, save it on your computer and they use for return installation I will be back when this process is done. Okay. Mm, having the disk image downloaded, the next step is just creating a bootable USB drive. And we'll be creating this by using a software called Empower ISO. If you don't have it, you better watch my previous video on how to reset Windows password. And they will see how to deal with this. So as this one is not registered, we wait until it comes down and they click on continue and register. So Hmm, good and here you will select create a bootable usb drive so i recommend you to not change something here you read all settings as default so if you send something really it will be complicated to you so you better leave it as it was so as you know we have downloaded this image before go to the containing folder and select your image yes of course then start click start by clicking start you will get a notification saying that when you accept the process all data on your usb drive is uh, will be erased so click yes if you agree okay if you agree then i will take you through the process i will be for fast forwarding also this process in order to get the time and I will be right back when this process is done. Thank you. When you are done with creating a bootable device, make sure you turn your computer on by holding F9 or F12 or Escape depending on your computer manufacturer. Mine is a Pro Book and it boots from F9. Then there will be a prompting message saying you press any key for the, to boot from the CD and you will be careful. You will have to be careful and touch, touch on your keyboard so that you don't miss. <music>
There, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, 
and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can... Type what you want to name your account. Okay, now type a password for your account. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out!